the first thing it'll display if it's been off for a while is the date. So you just set the date quite simply. That's the time. So just check the time, 20 past 9. And then OK. And that'll move on to minutes. 20 minutes, that's correct. The date. Today is the 26th of February. It's 2009. So that's set. The first thing you'll see here is this is what type of system you have set up. The, the default is for a single panel uh, with a tank, which is what we need. First of all, to set the parameters, you've got the measurements. These will give you all the statistics when it's in use, so you can see how much hot water you've had each day and how long the pumps have been running and that sort of thing, and the temperature gains. The operating mode is you can turn it to a manual operation. You'll need this for when you're priming it to uh, purge all the air out of the system. So when you go into there, it's on automatic or manual. So if you want it to run manually, you just set that and press R1 and there you can hear the pumps running. When you come out of something, it'll give you the option to change the setting or go back. On that one, it'll go back to automatic. If you press escape, it'll take you back out. The settings, these are for the measurements of the system. So, the, the first one you get to is TMINS1. That is the minimum temperature of the panel when the pump will start. So at the moment, anything under 20 degrees and the pump won't run. Just leave that where it is. The second setting says Tmax S2. So the S2 is measuring the temperature at the bottom of the tank. Uh, generally, you don't really want the water coming out your taps to be over 60 degrees. Anything over that will scold. So be vigilant if you've got children in the house, so you might want to lower that a little bit. But most houses will be about 60 degrees. You can go up a little bit, which of course means on a good sunny day you actually store more heat. The next one down is TR1 with a triangle. That's the setting of the temperature difference between the panel and the water. Obviously if the panel is only a de degree or two hotter than the water, you don't really want it circulating because by the time the water's come back it's probably cooler than the water in the tank. So that's normally about right. It's, uh, that's 10 degrees above the temperature of the water when the pump will come on and when it's dropped down to about 3 degrees that's when it will turn off again. At 3 degrees, probably turn it up to about 5 degrees or 6 degrees. If you've got a longer pipe run, then that 10 needs to be increased because the longer the pipe run, the more temperature you'll lose from the water as it returns. So we'll set that at 10 and 5. We can exit the settings there and save the changes, yes. Now the protections. These are for the frost stats and the overheats and that sort of thing. So we'll have a look at that. The seizing protection, all that does is it just turns on the pump for five seconds every day. It, if it's standing for a long period of time, it's possible that the pump can seize. So we just turn that on and on daily, weekly, weekly should do. Just confirm that and back out again and accept the change. The frost protection, if you go into that, there's two settings here. You want the frost protection on
and then you need to know which levels to set the frost protection at. There's two levels. The frost level one, when the temperature on the panel drops below the temperature you've set here, what it will do is just circulate a little bit of water through the panel for about one minute every hour. It just trickles it through and stops it freezing. The frost level two, when it drops below that, it'll trickle the water through the panel and it'll keep running until it gets above that temperature. So that's probably a little bit high. I would probably set that at about five degrees and frost level two at probably about three degrees. That'll just stop your panel and your pipework freezing up. So just come out of that. Confirm yes. Solar protection, I would leave that off. And the recooling is when it dumps the heat out of the tank back into the panel again, which we don't want. Anti-Legionella, that's just a safeguard where occasionally it'll take the temperature of the water up to above 60 degrees where it'll kill all Legionella. Legionella's are inherent with any water system, not solar. So, probably just put that on. And then at what temperature? Well, that's 70 degrees. So, every seven days, that'll let the temperature of the tank get over 70 degrees, which will kill everything in there. That's probably a little bit high. 60 degrees will be ample for that. Seven day intervals. Fit. Save. And that's basically set up. You can see here S1, that's measuring the temperature actually on the manifold on the roof. So we're only in a studio here, but at the moment that temperature is 17 degrees. S2 would be the temperature of the water at the bottom of the tank where it's coolest and S3 will be the temperature of the water at the top of the tank. You can see here this little triangle in a circle that represents the pump so when the pump starts running you'll see that little triangle starts turning around. 